Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me, everyone? Hello, good hello, evening, hello. hello, how are you tonight? I'm tired, teacher. I wish to be sleeping. <laughs> I know, I know. But you, it's almost Friday. You? Well, actually, I, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. A little bit tired, too. But here we are. <laughs> and don't worry. We are going okay. to have Friday tomorrow. So let's resist a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's see okay. who else is there. Welcome, everybody. Ah, I can see Mirna. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Um, I cannot hear you. Sorry, Miss. Hello. How are you? Oh, yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> how do you feel? Good. <laughs> I feel good. Thank you. And you? <laughs> So far, so good. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. So everyone, is Thursday, almost Friday. And I know, I know that you might be tired. I know. I don't know why, but it's been a long week, right? But here we are. So we are going to have a lot of practice tonight we are going to see a new topic and we are going to practice a lot so um just a reminder everyone remember we are in the week number four right so just a reminder some of you haven't finished uh, the homework number three so by tomorrow so you have to finish it, okay? Unit number three. Some of you already finished actually like all the platform, but some of you haven't finished the unit number three. So for the one who hasn't finished unit number three, please by tomorrow, you have to do it, okay? And remember next week is basically the last one. Okay, so by the next week, we are going to see the unit number four, the last topics. So we are going to take the last exam. The last exam is also on the platform. So you can do it next week. Just remember to continue working on the platform. Don't forget to complete all the activities. And if you have a question about one of the exercises, you can always take a screenshot and send it uh, to me so I will help you, okay? okay? Now, let's see, where where is everybody? I can see only five. My goodness. Sorry, Miss. Sorry, Miss. We will finish next week when the, the other group, the, the other course, or when we will be a star. Well, to be honest, I don't know exactly the day when you will start. I think that that information you will receive it during the next week. Mm -hmm. So if everything goes well, I mean, if we don't have any issues or if we don't interrupt the classes, so we will be finishing by Friday, right? Um. And I think that before Friday, you will receive the information about the next course. Okay. So yeah, no worries. I think that okay. the next week you will receive that information. So okay, thank you. You're ready for the next level, everyone? I oh. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Do you want to repeat? <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, god so nelson are you ready for the next level not yet teacher. <laughs> do you want to <laughs> do you want to continue an intermediate three no teacher <laughs> <laughs> come on you are ready guys you have to be confident come on 
So remember, the idea for the intermediate level is to improve, right? I know that there are some topics that you already studied in beginners, right? And I know that there are always questions. For example, if we study or if we review the simple present, maybe we can always have doubt. We can always have some questions about the simple present. And that's a topic that you studied at the beginning, right? So we can always have questions. That's why here in intermediate levels, if you see from time to time, we always review some topics, okay? And if in the next level you see a topic like a review and you are not pretty sure about it, you can talk to your teacher and you can tell, can you review a topic? Can you review this topic? Can we have an extra practice about it, okay? Because Sometimes you can say, maybe it's just me. I'm the only one that didn't understand. No, sometimes all your classmates didn't understand. So you can always ask for a review for an extra practice, okay? But don't feel afraid, you are ready, okay? And don't forget to always participate in the class. The more you practice, the more you learn. If you see, I have some students here in the class that they are always participating, but there are some other students that I almost never listen to, okay? So don't be afraid to participate, okay? If you participate, you will improve, all right? So again, are you ready for the next level, everyone? More or less, teacher. <laughs> All right. More but, or less. Okay, but that's that's better than than no. <laughs> of course, in this level, I I improve my uh, how I say. I understand more English. Oh, when that's you, great. When you talk, you you talking. Mm -hmm. I understand a lot. It's it's nice for me. Great. So your listening comprehension is improving. Yep. Yes. Great. Yes. So that's good. So everyone, that's that's good. And remember, you have to identify your um, skills. You have to examine yourself. For example, if for you listening is the most difficult one, that's the skill that you need to practice more. But if for you speaking is difficult, hmm, you have to speak a lot. If, if for you speaking is difficult, you have to be the person who must participate in the class, okay? Because if you practice, you get better. So do it, do it. During intermediate level, everybody, the idea is to improve, okay? To um, for example, all the doubts that you may have, all the questions that you may have about some topics during these levels is the moment to clarify the questions. In the beginning, beginners, it's difficult to clarify the questions because you are like processing a lot of information, right? When we are in the beginners, it's like you are receiving so many, I mean, a lot of information and it's like, what? I don't know what to do, right? But now in intermediate level, you already know the topics. Maybe you just need to clarify some questions. So take advantage about it. No vean el intermedio así como que, ah, qué aburrido, oh, so boring. No, look at the intermediate level as the moment to improve. And when you go to the advanced, my goodness, in the advanced level, everyone, you will be so pro, okay? I know you will, but just if you practice, just if you give the extra mile, okay? So don't give up, don't give up and be confident, okay? 
Well, that was <laughs> the motivational minutes of the class, okay? It's almost Friday, everyone. I know that you might be tired, but look at the bright side. It's almost Friday. Um, is it raining in your cities, everyone? No? It's a particular starting now. A ah. little bit of starting. Okay, okay. Anywhere? What about you guys? Is it raining in your Here. cities? Here I saw some thunder that rain. Wow. Oh, oh yes, rain, rain, but uh, fire <laughs> because it's very, very hot. Raining fire, yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in my city too, it's raining fire too, so hot. Well, I perfect. hope all of you got a, a nice weather so that doesn't interrupt the class. That's the idea. Well, let's start, everybody. I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Yeah. All right. Yes. So today is April 20th. We are in the week four, unit three. Basically, everybody, tomorrow we are going to finish unit three. So next week is the last week and we are going to check the last unit. So for the ones, again, for the ones who hasn't finished the unit number three on the platform, do it, okay? Now, this is the topic for tonight, passive verbs. Have you ever heard this topic, passive verbs? Yes, no? No, me, teacher. No? All no, right. Well, no worries. This topic is not that difficult. It's not so complicated. I'm going to try to explain it in a very easy way. It's a little bit extended, so I'm going to divide this topic in two parts. Okay, today we are going to see the part one and tomorrow the part two. Okay, so this is the class objective. Um, I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Me to share? Yes, please. Class objective to learn how to use make and get us causative verbs. Very good. In English, we have a different verbs that we can use as a causatives. Tonight, we are going to talk only about make and get. You already know the meaning of these verbs. Yes or no? Yes, do you know what is the meaning of make and the meaning of get? Oh, yes. no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you don't know the meaning of these verbs, no worries. Tonight we are going to review that too. So, but first let's start learning what a causative verb is. I want you to understand what is the meaning of causatives. We know that verbs is the action, okay? But what is causatives? Here, we have a very short concept about it. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Volunteer. Right. Yes, yeah. please, go ahead. Oh. Um, Jamie, I guess you said you, right? Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> the causative are the verbs that are used to indicate that one person causes another person to do something from the first person. So I know that this sounds like a tongue twister, <laughs> but basically a causative means one person Okay, imagine that this is you, okay? And you have a friend. You give an order and your friend did the action, okay? So what happens here? You are the reason 
that the other person did the action. That's the meaning of causative verbs. Is it clear? Yes? A little bit? Yes, I have a, uh -huh. I have a question, teacher. Uh, the causative verb is, is to indicate the one person causing another person, but the <laughs> That could be to a thing cause in one person. But for example, a situation. Oh, like you make something like an object do the action. Yes. That's what you mean? Actually, yes, but just in some scenarios. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, everybody, and we are going to see some examples, but most of the time when we are talking about causative verbs, the most common is to use it with people. But of course, you can use it with objects too. So, for example, imagine that here I have a cell phone. So you can make the cell phone does the action, all right? So uh, we're, I'm going to give the examples, but you can use it with both, with people, with objects. Actually, you can use it with animals too, okay? Now, when we are talking about causatives, we have four common verbs that we can use with the causatives. But tonight, we are going to start with make, okay? And we are going to read an example. Here I got a conversation and I will need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Yes, teacher. Thank you. I want uh, teacher. Nelson and Magdaleno, yes? Yes. Okay, Nelson, you will be Andrea. Magdaleno, you will be Vincent. Go ahead. Okay. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a father. They are very popular at work. I, I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuse is about. Fuse is the pronunciation teacher. Fuss. All the fuss. fuss. Do you know fuss. what the meaning is? I don't know. Anyone, have you ever heard this word? Fuss. No teacher. This is like scandal, like noisy, like, for example, uh, imagine that you are at home and suddenly on the street, you listen some people fighting and you say, hey, I want to see what is this noise about. So fuss is like alboroto, right? Escándalo, things like that, okay? Now, pay attention here. I have some sentences and these sentences are indicating Causatives. For example, look at this. Um, these shoes make you float. What is the meaning of make you float? What do you think? Yeah, float. <laughs> ah, very good. So, what is the action that you? Something or someone makes you float. <laughs> so that's the action. That's the causatives. Now look at the other one. 
makes customer buy. What is that? Uh huh. Makes customers buy. The, the customers do the action of buy. Exactly. So that is the causative. Imagine if I say, right now we are going to have an exam. <laughs> so you have to take the exam. That is the causative. I make you do the exam. So that is the meaning of causative. And we are going to see the structure and how we can create sentences. But first, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Say present. Carlos Abrego? Present. Okay. Christian Alexander? Christian Alexander is there? Okay. Um, Erika Jasmine? I think she's listener. Fatima Denise? Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran? Okay, I think he's listener too. Hector Francisco? Present. Okay, Isabel Hernandez? Isabel Hernandez. Okay, I cannot listen to you, Isabel. I'm sorry. I, I know that you are here, but I cannot listen to you. Um, if you want, you can check your, your headsets or you can go out and try to enter again. Sometimes that helps. Um, let's see, um, Ivan Guzman. Ivan Guzman. No? Okay. Jamie Raquel? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Holman Giron? Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie? Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante? Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Antonio? Present. Very good. Oscar Armando? Oscar Armando. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Pamela Carolina. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Very good. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay, very good. Now, let's see the structure, okay? Make. In some scenarios, make is just a synonym of the verb do, right? They can mean the same. The difference is that do is for some scenarios, make is from another scenarios. Now, in the scenario of the causatives, what is the meaning of make? Make somebody do something, okay? This is when you, for example, do, uh, give the order and someone else do the action. You make somebody do something, but this is the key, pay attention. You use the force or the compel or the authority. That means that if you are giving the order, it's not in a very polite way, okay? It's more like with the authority. So the other person, has to make the action, but it's a little bit sad, <laughs> right? 
is not so happy. Why? Because you are using your authority. That is something that you have to keep in mind. Make somebody do the action means that you are using authority or the force. You are not being so polite. Is it clear, this concept? You are basically obligating to the other person to do the action. Okay, and I'm going to give you some examples. Pay attention in the structure. If you want to use make as a causative, first of all, you need the verb make. Make can be in all the grammar tenses. It can be in present, in future, or in past. Then you need someone, you need the person that is going to do the action. And then you need the verb in the base form but you don't need the preposition to, okay? Only the verb in the base form. And here we got some examples. My mother makes me clean my room. So who gives the order? My mother. Then I have makes because it's the person. Who is the person? Who is the person who did the action? Me, okay. Then look, I need the verb in the base form, clean, but I don't need the preposition to, okay? So if you say something like, ah, my mother made me to clean, no, that's not correct, okay? You don't need the preposition to. So this is the causative. In this case, do you think that your mother has the authority to ask you to clean your room? Yes or no? Yes, she has. Yes. She has the authority, right? So what is the action? Clean the room. Who has to clean the room? Me. And who gives the order? My mother, okay? My mother makes me clean my room. So this is the causative. I got another example. The police made the thieves surrender. What is the meaning of thieves? Do you know that? Ladron? Yes. In this case, it's in plural, right? Thief is in singular. Thieves is in plural. And what is the meaning of surrender? Rendirse. Yes, exactly. It's like to give up. So who gives the order? Mm -hmm. Look, the police. the police. Exactly. Who did the action? The thieves. And what was the action? Surrender. So in this case, I know that because of the topic, when you listen causative, it sounds a little bit confusing, but you just have to keep in mind this structure. When you use make, the verb is in the base form. Okay, and using this structure means that you use the authority to the other person. You were, or you used the force, you were a little bit rude. This is not a favor. For example, if you say, I, my mother makes me clean my room. That means that this is not a favor. She is not asking you like, please clean your room. No, it's not a favor. She's giving you an order, okay? It's the same here in the police. They are not saying, please surrender. No, if you are using make, that means 
authority. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do an exercise. I'm going to give you some sentences. Now, if you have the manual, you will find uh, some examples, okay, in the page 28. Imagine in the first example says, the marketing department, look, this is the first one, the one who gives the order, makes, because it's their person, who did the action? The employees, what is the action? Revise, and then the complement. So the marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. Do you think that this action is a favor? The marketing department is saying, please, can you check your metrics? Can you check your goals every week, every month? Do you think that is a favor? Oh. In this case, it's an obligation. This is an order, okay? Now, I need another, please, volunteer for reading the next example. Mm, could I? Yes, please. The poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. Very good. Yeah. So... Poor identity, they are the reason of the causality. People, they did the action and the action is look for product from different companies. So pay attention here, everyone. You can use this structure in different grammar tenses. If it is in simple present, yes. You can do it in simple past, yes. And the verb make, is the one who receives the changes. Remember, the next verb is in the base form, right? A, another volunteer for reading the last example, please. Me too, sir. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. The brand experience offered by Samsung Make consumer prefer their mobile phones. Thank you. So look, again, I can use this structure in simple past. I just need to change the verb made. But the second verb, hmm, basic form. And the structure is the same. Make, then the person who did the action, and then the verb in the base form. OK, let's do a practice. I have here some sentences. Let's create the causative form of these sentences. Uh, let me do it bigger, let's see. Okay, can you see the sentences? Yes. So we need to follow the structure. Uh, well, this one. Look at the sample. They, the subject, make, the person who did the action, and then the verb in the base form. So the sentence number one, the verb is clean. What will be the sentence? My mom, what do I need next? Make. Can I say make? Make. Is there person, ah, makes. Makes me, can I say, to clean my room? No, oh, yes, no. Clean. two is not necessary. Ah, two is not necessary, necessary. only necessary. clean. Necessary. Number two, the authorities. Uh -huh. make, what do I need? Make. Make or makes? Makes. Make the students without it. Why? If you see, is in the authorities. In plural. Is in plural. So I don't need the letter S. Now the authorities make the students 
can I say wearing? No. Wearing? Why not? Because the ruler is that the, you, you, you have the, the base form. Yes. The, exactly. The base form. Where. Correct. Is in the base form. Okay, let's continue with the next one. We are going to do it in simple past. Okay, so what will be the sentence here? Kevin. Made. made. Very good. Made. Made her daughter. Can I say Study. studied? No, right? What is the correct it's one? Base, base form. Exactly. So if it is in simple past, you see, you just need to change the verb make. Let's try it with future. We are going to use will. So the president, what do you think? What will be the sentence? Will make. Uh huh. Will make people. Pay taxes. That's it. Pay taxes. Pay taxes. So if you see everyone, the verb that is going to change is the verb make. Okay. So you can use this one in simple present, in past, in future, in the present perfect. It doesn't matter. Is is the same structure. The ones that is going to change is the verb make. And the next verb, and this is the easiest part, the next verb, look, it doesn't matter the grammar tenses, is always in the base form. Is it clear, everybody, the structure of the causatives with the verb make? Yes? Or not? Or another practice? Okay, let's do another practice. But this practice is going to be more like questions. Question number one, what did your parents always make you do? What is the grammar tense in this sentence? What is the grammar tense? Yes. In simple past. In simple past. Okay. What did your parents always make you do? <laughs> For example, <laughs> in my case, well, my parents always <laughs> made me do my bed every single day. Always. I couldn't go to the school. I couldn't do anything else if I haven't done my bed. So look, made, simple past, me, I was the person who did the action, verb in the base form. Now is your turn. Give me sentences. What did your parents always made you do? <laughs> uh -huh. Volunteers. My my parents uh -huh. made made me go to the school. Ah, oh, made me go to the school. <laughs> That's something good. So you see, excellent structure. Who else? Another example, please. Think about your parents. My parents always made me wash my clothes. Made me wash, wash my clothes. All right, very good. So you see, perfect. That's a good example. Who else? Another one? What did your parents always make you do? Let's participate, everyone. For example, brush your teeth, 
take get a shower. <laughs> ah, so you can say that. My parents made me take a shower every day. Every day. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you didn't want to. So they use the authority. Again, when we are using this structure, remember, it's not a favor. Okay? It's an order. Now, question number two. What is the grammar tense in this question? Simple person. Very good. That means that the answer will be in simple present. Can you tell me something that the government makes you do? The government. Uh -huh. Ladies first. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, Magdalena. Okay, go ahead, Magdalena. The government. Uh -huh. uh, a question, the government is he or is they? In this case, it's third person, yes. Okay, the government um, made me, no, makes, makes uh -huh. me pay taxes. <laughs> Very good. Look, definitely. So let me ask you, the government asks you very politely, like, oh, Mr. Magdaleno, please pay your taxes. Do they do that? <laughs> no. Actually, no. <laughs> Never. They give you the authority. Okay, pay or you go to hell. <laughs> you decide, right? So it's not a favor. Another example, can you tell me, guys, what does the government make you do? Uh huh. Oh my gosh, nothing? The government <laughs> doesn't make you do anything? Really? Or the it's, it's just me. Makes, <laughs> uh -huh. The government makes me pay the fee or uh, mm -hmm. multa. How do you say? Ah, it's, it's a fine. Okay, fine. I'm going to like like pay fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's true. Imagine if you, for example, break the rules when you are driving. You need to pay the fine. Very good. Very good. Okay, another example, and this one is easy. What does your boss make you do? Everybody here works, right? So think about your boss. What does your boss make you do? What do you think? My boss makes me, makes me work. <laughs> okay <laughs> yes for example you can say makes me work every day or makes me work from monday to friday all right what else what does your boss make you do solution problems every day in I'm different sorry? yeah solution problems every day in these different mm -hmm. topics very good. So you see, ah, my boss make me, uh, sorry, makes me resolve problems. <laughs> so you see, very good. It's an obligation. It's not a favor, right? Excellent. And the last one, for the one who has kids, is there anything you make your children do? What orders do you give to your children? So you can say, I make my kids. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so tell me, what make you ask for your children? What orders do you give? Okay, I make my children wash uh -huh. the after what? eating. Wash the dishes after eating. <laughs> Wash the dishes. And that's a nice rule. Do it. Yes. Very good example. What else? 
for the one who has kids. I make my kids tidy up. Okay, give me write it. So I make my kids tidy up her toys or the toys when they play. Ah, do you mean or, tidy like this? Tidy the toys or organize tidy their the toys, toys? The toys, the toys. Uh -huh. Okay. So in this case, who is giving the order? Uh huh. Who? In this case, is you. You are giving I... the order, right? So the structure is the same. Then the verb make. Then the person who is going to do the action. Then the verb in the base form. And again, everyone, we can do it in all the grammar tenses. Is it clear, everybody, this topic? Yes? No? A little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, question so far? Is there any question? No questions? Okay, if you don't have questions, we are going to practice these questions, okay? Because in this moment, I just listen to some people talk, okay? But I want to listen to all of you. So I'm going to send you a, a picture about this one and I'm going to send it with the examples. Okay, so do you feel uh, it will be a little bit easier for you? Oops, let me send it like this. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp group. Okay, with all the examples. And I want you to practice these questions with your classmates. Okay, let's see. I'm sending the examples because not everybody participated. So that's why I'm sending it with the examples. Let's go and practice. Um, I know that today I have some listeners, but again, everybody, when we go to the breaking rooms, I expect to everybody enter to the breaking rooms. Some people just stay here in, in the main room, but take advantage. This is the moment to practice, so please enter to the breaking rooms. Now, just let me create the groups. Give me a second. One moment. Okay, let's go to work. Everybody, full English. We only have five minutes for this activity, so let's go. <laughs> huh? Star. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, number one. Uh, the same. The, what did your parents always make you do? My parents made me go to the supermarket. <laughs> go <laughs> to the supermarket. Um, okay, my parents made me go to the go to the no go to the, no my parents made me made me clean my room. My parents made me uh, wash my teeth. My parents made me. Uh, Uh, go to bed go to bed uh, early <laughs> my parents made me made me go 
for my sister too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Mangan Nelson is here too. Yes. Okay, we are talking with Fatima about the first question. What did your parents always make you do? Okay. My my parents make me get up early or wake mm -hmm. up. Wake up. Yes. Wake up. Oh, get up. Okay. I think that wake both up. is correct. I think, but I'm not sure. <laughs> wake up. And you? Yeah. We live, we live at the beach, and we have to, we have to, to make the clean. No, okay, okay. Let me let me think. I remember that my father makes me, my father makes me clean the whole, the, the whole house. And and he makes me makes makes me wash my my clothes, polish my my shoes. Polish is correct. What is I think it? yes, I think polish I is know. like a, uh, let me this is for let me make right. right. Ah yes, polish yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my father, my father makes makes me um, uh, okay. shine, shine is the word. Makes me shine my my shoes, shine my shoes. Mm -hmm. It's um, it was some one of my it. Uh, it was on one of my obligations. I don't know if, if this is correct. Okay, what does the government make you do? Um, maybe, maybe when 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 in the main group make a question for the for, for teacher. I don't know if you can help me. Uh, ever ever the uh, the casualty verb is impossible. Or is is possible make in in negative? Uh, maybe maybe. Uh, is is possible too? Uh, sure. <laughs> hi. Yeah. It hi, is hi. it is possible too. For example, instead of saying my parents made me go to the church, you can say mm -hmm. my parents didn't make me go to the church. So yes, you can do it in negative too. The only thing that you have to do is to add the auxiliary. If you are in present, don't or doesn't. If you are in past, didn't. Uh, I, I think it may be a party. My, my, my parents, uh, oh, what, como sería? My didn't. parents didn't make me. Didn't, uh -huh, didn't make go to the party, I think. But it's not, not, it's not, not okay. sentido, not, I, it, it, it does. It has sense. But in that case, we are going to say, like, mis papás no me obligaron a ir a la fiesta. <laughs> I mean, doesn't sound weird because normally parents, they don't obligate their kids to go to the parties. But yeah, you can use it. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Madeline. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but okay. a little question. <laughs> hey, what? Okay. The, what? What does the government make you do? The government make make me um when when uh two years ago I don't know I don't know who say I don't know who, I don't know. Um, two years ago, the government made, made a 
stayed in my house for the for the COVID. I don't know if you understand me. O sea, me me yes. quieren quedarme en casa. Yes, I understand that. Yeah, that's uh -huh. a good one. Very good. Good example. But 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 the question isn't isn't present. Yes, but you specify some years ago. So if you specified in past, no problem. You can answer in past too. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Magdaleno, what does what does the government make you do? The government makes me makes me drive without uh, without alcohol in my blood. <laughs> really? <laughs> Good for you. That's for your safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that for everyone. Hey, the government make me pay pay uh in another document. But yes. for 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 doing the best for <laughs> so he is so so detailed detailista. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can I say <laughs> but he 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 he's so um, so strict with the task that ex ex hand ex or you or, or, mm -hmm. or you can say just strict how Strict, yes. strict or exigent or bossy if you want to say like mandong bossy but you can also say strict like stricto or exigent as your classmate said okay 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 the next question is is there anything you may the children do? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I may uh, my kid do your homework every day. <laughs> every day? Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's good. And, and you? Is there anything you make your children do? I don't have children. <laughs> that only that really? I I may. <laughs> do you do you have pets? I, Yes, this is my idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I make. I I make. Uh huh. I make my pen, my pet. Mm. Mm. Stay quiet. <laughs> Yeah, good. Yes. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yes. Very good. All right. So, uh, did you did you answer all the questions? Yes. Easy or difficult? Um a little difficult. Sorry, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, you just need to follow the structure, right? If you memorize the structure, it's not so complicated, okay? Now, uh, we don't have more okay. time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Let's wait for everyone.
Let's wait for everyone. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Okay, let's see. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking room. Let's wait for them. Okay, let's see. So, how was the practice? Did you answer all the questions, everyone? Yes, could you answer all the questions? Teacher, is correct when I said I miss one. Yes. Me una, quiero decir. Yes, totally correct. Definitely. Thank you. All right. So everybody, easy, difficult, 50-50. What do you think? Uh huh. 50 50. 50 50. Okay. And the rest of you? A little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. Okay. So when I was listening to the uh, breaking rooms, I was listening to some great uh, sentences. I like that. So um, there, there was a question if like, can we say these sentences in negative? Of course we can. For example, in affirmative, if you are in simple present, you can say, um, my parents make me go to the church. So this is in simple present, affirmative. In negative, yes, you can do it. Always in simple present. So how can I say this sentence in negative? What do you think? My parents doesn't make me. Ah, very good. I need the auxiliary. So, but what is the auxiliary for my parents? Doesn't or don't? For be plural. Exactly. In this case, it's plural, so we say don't. So my parents don't, don't make me go to the church. So yes, you can use the sentences in negative too. What happens if I want to say the same sentence, but in simple past? I want to do it in negative, but in simple past. Easy. Instead of using don't, what is the auxiliary in past? Didn't. Didn't. Correct. Look. So you can use this topic in affirmative and in negative. Both. Yeah. You can use it in present, in past, in future, in third person, no problem. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. Okay, quick questions. Okay, causatives with make is for asking a favor, yes or no? No, it's an order. Ah, very good. No, it's not a favor. You are using the authority for that action. It's like an order, okay? Very good. Okay, make with causatives. Can I say, she makes me to buy coffee? Is that correct? No, to, to. The, the, to. Uh -huh. the preposition. Preposition is not necessary, okay? The verb in the base form, but I don't need a preposition to. Uh, Magdalena, do you have a question? Yes, I have. Um, my question is, when I want to say what something uh, está de más, how I can say? 
está de más. Yes. For example, in this case, tú está de más. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good question. Let me search for it. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, if you want to say está de más, you can say like sobran, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What happens is that it doesn't give you um, like a literal translation. So you can use like a synonym phrase for that. Okay. Because what you can say is like needless, like it's not necessary, needless. I'm sending it in the chat. Can you see it? Uh, it's a little bit slow. No sé por qué no le envía. Give me a second. Like this. Needless. But needless is not the literal translation. No es la, la traducción literal de es, está de más. Needless, basically the translation is just like unnecessary. So you can say needless to say, actually. You can say that phrase. So, but the translation is como, está de más decirlo, es innecesario decirlo. So, that's the most close, or the closest translation for that phrase. Netless or netless to say. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for, for clear that. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Now, questions about causatives with the verb make. Any questions so far? No? Okay. If you don't understand, tell me, please. If you don't ask, I assume that the topic is clear, okay? Later, I'm going to ask you some questions and I hope everybody answer. Now, we already check the causatives with the verb make. We already established that is not a favor. If you use make, it's because you are using an authority. You need the verb in the base form, but you don't need the preposition to. Now, let's see another verb. And the verb is get, okay? Get is a verb, honestly, this verb is a little bit complicated because get has different meanings depending on the sentence. If you are using it with a phrasal verb, if you are using it in different contexts, get can has different meanings. In this scenario, when you are using get, as a causative, the meaning is like convinced, okay? In this case, it's not like obligate. In this case, it's like convinced. So the scenario is different. In this case, for example, this is the structure. I need get. I need the person that is going to do the action. And here is the difference. I need the verb in infinitive. What does it mean? That I need the preposition to, okay? That's the difference between get and make, okay? Con make is an obligation. Con make, uh, you can say, she obligated me. But with get is not an obligation. Con get is convinced. 
He convinced me. And I need the verb with the preposition to. Let's see some example. She got her boyfriend to do her homework. What am I saying here? The translation is basically as if you say, she convinced him, right? To do her homework. She convinced him. She didn't obligate him. She convinced him, okay? And look at the verb. I need the preposition to, okay? That is the difference between get and make. Now, let's see another example. I can get some of my students to keep the camera on. <laughs> I need a volunteer for translating this sentence, please. I can get some of my students to keep the camera on. Yo no pude convencer a algunos de mis estudiantes de mantener la cámara encendida. Ah, so you see, in this case, it's not an obligation. It's, I'm not using the authority, like very rude. No, in this case, it's just convinced, all right? So in this case, the translation can be like that. Like, no puedo convencer, o no logro hacer, that some people do that. And in the number one, it's like, ella convenció al boyfriend, right? O ella logró que el boyfriend did the homework, okay? So the difference, look, I need the verb in infinitive. I need the preposition to. So is it clear the difference, everyone, between make and get? Yes, a little bit clear. Teacher. Uh-huh. I have a question. Go ahead. I, I think it's similar to make, but it's different. <laughs> I, 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 it, it's, it's similar because uh, you can uh, make, the um the the, 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 press, do the action the front and the present and the past mm -hmm. but if possible and the future you uh, using will get yes oh, okay thank you basically everybody you can use get in the causatives in all the grammar tenses in affirmative in negative the difference is the meaning with get, it sounds more like convince, a little bit soft, a little bit more polite, right? And we need the verb in infinity. That's a little bit different, okay? Let's see some examples. These examples, you can find them on your manual. Look at the number one. I can get customers to love our premium services. So I have get and look to love. I need the preposition to. With the example of make, I didn't need the preposition to, but with get, I do. Now, Volunteer for reading the sentence number two, please. Can I? Yes, Teacher. please, go ahead. Yes. Can you translate the... The, 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 the sentence? sentence? Yes. Okay. yes. In this yes. case, if you see, it says I can, so that is like affirmative. So we can mm. say, yo puedo lograr or uh -huh. yo puedo convencer a los clientes de amar nuestros servicios premium o nuestros servicios like the top, the best ones. That is the translations. So in this case, it's more like puedo lograr 
puedo convencer a nuestros clientes de amar nuestros servicios. It's like a lograr o convencer. Exactly. That's the one. En negative t-shirt is I can't get. Mm -hmm. Si estamos usando can't, yes. In can't this case, get. can't. But also we can use the auxiliaries. The auxiliary. Don't or didn't depend of the grammar text. So, okay. eh, Mirna, go ahead. Read the second example. The project manager say it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. Very good. So the structure is the same. I have the person who gives the order. I mean, in this case, who, who tries to convince. I have get. Then the verb in infinity. Don't forget that when you are using get, you need the preposition to. That is very important. Don't forget that. Okay. And the last one, volunteer for reading the last example, please. I could try, teacher. Could yes, I try? Please. Go ahead. The advertising event will get people to order products online more often. Very good. What is the grammar tense in this sentence? Uh, future. That's yes. correct. It's future. So you see, we can use it in present, in past, in future, the grammar tense that you prefer, and the meaning is the same. The structure will be the same. So far, so good, everyone? A little bit clearer? The teacher, yes? I have a question of um, vocabulary. Go ahead. The phrase get all, what means? Get? In the second part, get all, get all. It's not possible to get all. Where? In the second line. Oh, it is not possible to get all. This one? Yes. yes oh, in that? this case, all is for everybody. So he is talking about like, it is not possible to convince all the customers that's the meaning all the customers <clears throat> so that means that you cannot convince everybody you cannot convince all the people all the customers a que se sientan identified with the brand that is the meaning of get old okay any other question everybody about these examples about vocabulary maybe Nope. Okay, let's do another practice, the same as the examples that we got before. Let's complete the sentences using the structure, but in this case is with get, okay? Look at the example. My parents get us to travel to London, okay? In this case, it's an obligation, this sentence. What do you think? Is no, that an obligation? No. no. So why is this topic important? Because in English, one word can change the meaning. One word can change the intention. Imagine if you say, I know my boss makes me uh, resolve the problem. That sounds like very strict. And maybe your boss didn't obligate you. Maybe your boss said in a very polite way, hey, please, can you help me with this? Um, so maybe he was just trying to convince you. I will pay you extra money if you resolve this issue. I will give you an extra bonus. So maybe it wasn't an, an authority, he wasn't giving you a very strict order. Maybe he was just trying to convince you. So the intention can change, okay? Now, sentence number two, Carlos, and then what do I need? Get, 
a sound. Get. Go. With S. Ah, very good. Gets his son. Uh huh. To go. go. Very good. To go. Uh huh. To take mm. French classes. Is that an obligation? Mm, not really. No. They just convinced him, right? Now, next one. Let's do it in. Okay, let's try to do it in negative. Simple present negative. What will be the answer? Rachel. Don't, doesn't get. Uh -huh. doesn't get. Doesn't get her sister to sleep. To sleep with her. Very good. Let's try with the next one in simple past. Affirmative simple past. My dad got, got my mom to allow. Good. To allow me to go out with my friends. Now, the last one, let's try it in future. Affirmative. The salesman will get, will get me uh -huh. to buy. That's to it. Buy. To buy that Porsche. Very good job. So, again, Make and get, both are for causatives. So you just need to memorize the differences. Okay, we got make and we got get. What is the first difference between them? Make is authority and get is a convince. Very good. Make is when you give an order, you use your authority okay so this is a very strong sentence get on the other hand this is like convinced okay imagine that when you use get is because maybe the person says please right another difference between make and get Uh -huh. What about the verbs? Can I say, uh, make me to clean? Can I say that? No. No, I don't need the preposition. The preposition. To. How about with get? Can I say, get me to buy? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So these are the two differences when we are talking about causatives with make and with get is it clear everybody so fresh so clean <laughs> clean as the water or clean as the horchata uh -huh. <laughs> Like carao. Like carao. Oh <laughs> like like tamarindo my, t shirt. <laughs> my goodness, guys. <laughs> no. All right. Now let's answer some questions again. Um, we are going to use the structure of get. Now look at the first one. What do your friends get you to do for them? Remember, this is not an order. This is something that maybe they ask like, please, or maybe in this case, they just convince you. For example, um, in my case, <laughs> my friends um, always get me to go for a coffee. <laughs> I cannot say that. <laughs> I, I cannot say no. <laughs> so they always convince me. Oui to go is to go for a coffee, okay? My friends get me, they convince me all the time. <laughs> so it's not an order, they are not using like the authority, they are just convincing me. 
How about you, everyone? Can you tell me something that your friends get you to do for them? What do you think? Give me examples. In um, okay, go ahead. My friend don't get me to smoke. Okay, don't um, get me to smoke. <laughs> but that's something positive. Very good. Don't do that. <laughs> My friends are, 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 are um, a good person. <laughs> that's nice. What else? Everybody? My friends get me to drink a beer, for example. <laughs> <laughs> My friends make me... Oops, sorry get me to drink oops it's missing the space drink what you said beer <laughs> very good get me to drink beers so they are not obligating you they are convincing you <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> if you say yes or no very good that's the one okay now question number two this question is in past can you think about something crazy or something dangerous or something embarrassing that your friends got you to do? So imagine something crazy that your friends convince you to do. Or can you think about something dangerous that your friends convince you to do? What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Firework is a uh, is like a cohete uh, in Spanish. Firework. Yes. Uh, my 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 friend get me impact firework. Uh, no, okay. make a firework. Make firework. Okay, we are using get. What is the past of get? Because this is to get. My friends <laughs> got me got me to make firework. Fire. <laughs> no way! And what happens? Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, glasses. <laughs> oh, my, that sounds. No botella de vidrio. I don't know who's with a with bottle. a glass bottle. With a, a glass bottle, and it is possible. No, was. ¿Cómo se el pasado fue fue posible o era posible perder un ojo? It was possible. It was possible, Laza. Ay. Oh my God. Dangerous. Oh, yeah, that was very dangerous and crazy at the same time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good example. How about you, everyone? Think about something crazy or dangerous or embarrassing that your friends convince you to do or got you to do. What do you think? Oh, you never did something crazy. Hmm, I don't think so, everyone. You never did anything dangerous? For example, escape from the school go to a party when your parents said no i don't know actually when actually when i was a teenager uh -huh. i convinced my friends you got your friends <laughs> i got you, my friends yes i got my uh -huh. friends to do something <laughs> for example i got my my friends to drunk but um, um what is the, the, the way to say despedida of the I year? Mm, but when you fin when you finish a, a grade, you have a despedida. Hmm, you can say like farewell. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Because I mean despedida is like to say goodbye, right? So you can say yeah. farewell, or if you are talking about the like como la excursión de despedida, so you can yes. say the farewell trip. I am speaking about the firework trip. 
okay. So I what is the friends. sentence? I got my friends, uh-huh. To drunk, to drink, to, to drink. drink. The verb in infinitive, uh-huh. Yes, to drink in, in our firewood trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh to drink water i want to think <laughs> yes yeah, water i'm going to write it like this look to drink water <laughs> <laughs> in the farewell trip very good example crazy water teacher crazy water crazy water, water. water. Teacher. <laughs> water. Teacher. uh huh nelson is water no water <laughs> yeah, but guaro, guaro is in Spanish. <laughs> so that's why water, okay? <laughs> nice. Very good. So if you see everyone, those are good examples. You are using the structure. Very good job. Now, the last one. What did your teacher always in simple past? Think about when you were at the school or in high school. What did your teacher get you to do at school? But again, in this scenario, it's not with authority. In this case, it's like convince. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is there is an occasion, something that your teacher got you to do? What do you think? Mm -hmm. My teacher. Yes. My teacher get. In simple get past. Me to study. <laughs> okay. My teacher, simple uh, past, study. got me mm -hmm. to. Got me to study. Very good. You no. know that it, it's not an obligation, right? You know that there are some teachers that they always talk to you and say, you know, you are very intelligent, you're mm -hmm. very smart, you should study harder. So what is she doing? She is convincing you. My mm -hmm. teacher got me to study. Very good. So we are going to practice again these questions in groups because I want to listen to everybody. During this moment, not everybody participate, but in the breaking rooms, everybody will. So let's answer the questions. Again, I'm going to send it on WhatsApp groups. Just be careful with the grammar tenses. If the sentence is in present, okay, we say get. If the sentence is in past, you have to say got, okay? Now, I already sent it on WhatsApp group. Let's go to the breaking rooms. I'm going to create the groups again. Let's mm -hmm. see, give me a second. Okay, just a moment, give me a second. Okay, very good, let's go to work. I think the guy is listening to teacher. Um... I know. Yes, but give me a moment. I'm sending you someone else. Thank Let's you. wait. Oh. Yes, Jamie's here. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Hector. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm tired, but I trying to stay here <laughs> i believe it you i believe it i believe it you i'm oh, okay but <laughs> so it's, it's casi viernes. we are going to yeah <laughs> we are going to speak about guests how can I use get? 
I'm going to ask you and then you can ask, ask me. It's okay. Can you can you start ask and, and change the the I mean change? You start okay. Okay, okay. What do your friends get you to do for them? Um, he and no, he or they, because a lot. Of, I I have a not a lot, but a three four friends. They um they got no, but this is in present. In the past, they they got the. It's in present. It's in present. It's Oh, okay, okay. Uh, they they get me, they get yeah, they get me um start to I don't know to start to see a uh, uh, movie, but not a movie, it's a what's the other series? Hey, see a movie. Series is, is series. Series, series, series TV. But no in TV is Netflix. <laughs> Netflix uh the Siete Pecados Capitales. I don't know <laughs> seven seven daily I don't remember the name. Huh? Things. Think, uh huh. Seven seven daily thing. But for my time, <laughs> for, my, for my schedule, I can't. <laughs> How about you, Jamie? Uh, my question, what do oh. your friend get you to do for them? When I was in the basic, basic education, <laughs> My friend uh, got me to escape out of the school. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. To buy snacks after lunch. Yes. At the school or at uh, at the work, the, work, the job. The work, the too. <laughs> okay, just we are. Yes. Okay, the second. What was something crazy, dangerous, or embarrassing your friends got to you to do? You to do. My my friends got me to fight with uh with my with, an, with another friend. To what? To fight. To fight. 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 Yes. Uh, I remember what I fight. Uh, no, I. What is the pass for fight? Somebody knows. I don't know. Fought. 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 I remember what I fought. I remember that I fought. fought. I, I have trouble with that teacher. Could you help me? Yes, it's just fought. I remember when I fought. When fought. I fought. Fought. With, with a letter C or no? Fought. What happens is that the letter is bad. The spelling is like this. I'm sending it in the chat. But the pronunciation no, that... is just thought is like F O T. <laughs> That's the pronunciation. Fault. 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 Mm -hmm. Don't okay, put the letter C. It doesn't have to sound Fault. no, because that may sound like a bad word. It's just <laughs> fault. <laughs> it's like, for example, say photo. Say photo. 
Yes. Photo. Fat. Photo. Photo. Now, just Fat. don't pronounce the last O. Photo. Oh. Foot. So that's the pronunciation. Foot. Foot. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Fight. Foot. Foot. <laughs> Is right? Yeah. Fight. Foot. Foot. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember what I thought with the with the pastor son. And the last time when I visited the church when I was uh, 11 years old, maybe 12 years old. I remember that. My it's just God. a memory. <laughs> so you went to the church to fight? My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a child, but a that... little and, and sweet child. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> How about how about Holman? Tell us, Holman, the answer to that question. Uh, the two, number two. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, maybe. Uh, I. Is my friends, my friends, made, made God, God. Uh, in this case is God. Yes, my friends get a uh, God. My friends got, got me. My friends got, got me to to uh, ha handle handle or take take a uh, a pickup and in in moving picket moving no way <laughs> anything in in a uh, i don't remember in in a uh, in uh, in, in a climb? Up. up okay. In, in a street up. Like a climb. In a climb. I, I, I remember. And what <laughs> happened? Because we are happy in, in this. In this. <laughs> you guys, you were very, I, I don't know what the word, but when you were younger, do these dangerous things. Oh my god. We were just men. It's That's normal. We are we are insane. Men and happy, says Holman. That's the reason yes. why men live less. That's true, right? I, I remember I didn't have internet. Ah, that's the reason because you didn't have internet. You had to entertain in something else. <laughs> we were happy. So with the we hairstyle. were happy, absolutely. <laughs> My gosh, that's the reason why men live less, definitely. <laughs> okay, uh, who's next? Next one to answer the question, please. Uh, what did your teacher get you to do at the school? The teacher, what is the, what's the word? Uh, lineage or lineage? For planners for bad, bad con, computation. I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember how can I say teacher I I can listen sorry sorry my microphone was off so if you want to say like me hacía escribir líneas so you can say repeat sentences or rewrite sentences uh, mm -hmm. so rewrite I, sentences my 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 teacher my teacher 
got got me to do to to re, to repeat or to do to repeat or oh, rewrite rewrite sentences rewrite is like a reescribir right so once and time and rewrite. time again uh -huh. right uh, so my teacher got me to re rewrite um, a lot of sentences <laughs> when, I, when I was a uh, uh, a rebel, rebel. <laughs> And, and what did the sentence say? Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I always uh, maybe uh, the Spanish. I, uh, I don't have to see the <laughs> other word to the girl. <laughs> oh my gosh! No. Enjoying. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I have to I have to pay attention in class. Ah. <laughs> My gosh, Holman. But now you are different, right? You are a good student. You are not rebel anymore. A little bit. Oh it's the same attitude, teacher. <laughs> it's the same. It's, oh my gosh. It's part to to get up, Timmy. <laughs> yeah that's true i got the reference <laughs> very good okay continue please you have two more minutes and then we're going to go back to the main room okay teacher. Teacher. ask ask the teacher. teacher we have a question <laughs> <laughs> all right go ahead yes when you use uh, the negative uh, uh, with the auxiliary form when you use my teacher didn't got me, is correct say got me or get me? Get, because remember oh. that when you have the auxiliary, the verb, base form. Base form, okay, correct. I'm confused, sorry teacher. <laughs> no worries. Okay, yes. so what is the answer? Yes, this is the answer because we, we have to construct the, the, the structure, the, the sentence in negative using negative uh, uh -huh. for example my teacher didn't get me to go the graduation very good didn't get me that's correct okay. and you fatima but i un don't understand this sentence Who, uh, what what mean and which one? Uh, this, the, my teacher didn't go. Didn't in, get. Oh, this get, is like yes. the teacher didn't convince me. That is the meaning of that sentence. Like, la teacher eh, no, me, no me convenció o no me exigió, right? Ir a la graduación. That's the meaning of get. Didn't oh. get. Mm -hmm. Okay. My teacher get get me is study the vocabulary. Get me study or get, get me, me get me to study the vocabulary. Ah, very good. That's a good one. Very good. So just remember, if the sentence is in simple past, what is the past form of get? Got. That is the one. Very good. Okay. Uh, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Okay, time's up. We are going to go back to the main room. Let's wait for your classmates. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room.
Okay, some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. We're going to wait for them. All right, very interesting answers. I was listening to. Okay, how was the practice? Easy, difficult, funny, interesting. I was listening all kind of answers. My gosh. Uh -huh. <laughs> funny and interesting, teacher. Right. My partner have a my partner my partner. Yeah. No. Yes. Have a, a, a good good history. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, yes. I proud. I proud of he. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good. Yeah, actually, guys, I was listening very funny stories. I like that. I could see that some of you had a very um interesting <laughs> childhood. Some of you were a little bit rebels in the school right but now here you are now you are responsible adults right now you have a good behavior <laughs> <laughs> i i guess right i i think so but super good job you are doing great <laughs> <laughs> my goodness jamie <laughs> okay <laughs> But listen, super good job. Actually, I like it because you are using the structure. So that's great. Very good job. I was listening to some of you using even the negative structure. And that is great. Awesome. I like it. So which one do you feel that is easier? Make or get? What do you think? Which one is easier? Make is easy. Make. make, make, okay. Yeah, for some of you, make can be easier than for get. In this case, I just want you to keep in mind, if you use make in the causative scenarios, just remember that the translation is like obligate, right? So you can say, I, my mother, it made me wash the dishes. So the translation could be my mother obligated me to wash the dishes. And with get, the translations is more like convince. My mother convinced me to go to the church. So my mother got me to go to the church. Okay, so that is like the difference. Now, we got five minutes. I have this exercise. We are going to combine both get and make. You just have to complete the sentence using the correct structure. For example, if it says make, you have to use make. If it says get, then with get. For example, in the number one, customers attention makes company look verb in the base form but without the preposition to makes companies try every sort of strategy okay so let's complete all of these sentences using the correct structure in the number two the verb is get so what do you think what would be the correct answer here? Marketing. Mm -hmm. Help business. Mm -hmm. Get customer to buy product. Very good. Now, important. If you see here, I have a verb, right? So we always need to separate the verb. So you can say marketing helps businesses to get customers to buy products. That is a difference. Look, between make, no preposition to, 
with get, I do have the preposition to. Great. Volunteer, number three, what will be the answer? The verb is make. Teacher? Yes, please. We can make people mm -hmm. like our products without the right strategy. Strategy. Very good. So in the number three, everybody, what do you think? What could be the translation? We can make people like our product. Mm -hmm. What would be the no translation? Puedo, no, nosotros no, eh, no podemos obligar a la gente a que le gusten nuestros productos sin la estrategia correcta. Perfect. Excellent. So that is the meaning of make when we are talking about causatives. Very good. Number four, volunteer. What will be the answer? The verb is get. Get. Mm -hmm. Online stores, the online stores get their lawyer customers to help with advertising events. Very good. So you see, when we use get, don't forget it. You just need the verb in infinitive. Don't forget the preposition to. Number five, what will be the sentence in the number five? Volunteer? Me, teacher. Yes, please. The marketing director makes people vote for the best as ads. Very good. Excellent. And this is important. Third person, everyone. If it is third person, add the letter S. During the breaking rooms in the practice, some people forget the letter S in the third person. Okay. If it is simple present, don't forget that rule. Okay. Number six, volunteer. Uh-huh. Me, teacher. Yes, please. So businesses make their employees take constant trainings on marketing. Very good job. Excellent. Super good. So everyone, this is causative when we use make and get. Is it clear, the topic, everyone? Teacher, the topic is clear. I just have a question with other topic in the number two. Mm -hmm. Why do you, why do you add two for the verb get in this case? All right. In this case, everyone, you have to remember the topic infinitive, infinitive versus gerunds. You know that in English, we cannot put two verbs together. For example, when we say, I like run. Can I say that? I like run? No, I like to run. Ah, so uh, I, run. I have to separate them. You have two options. You can say, I like to run. Or you can say, I like running. running. Right? Because like is flexible. That means that you can use both options. There are some verbs that are not flexible, like I want. Can I say I want play? Can I say that? No. Because I want to play. Exactly. I want to play. So in English, the point is I need to separate the verbs. And in this sentence, that is what is happening. I have already a verb, helps. It doesn't matter that I have a word here. I have another verb. And the verb helps is not flexible. I cannot say marketing help, getting, no. I need to use infinitive to separate them. 
That's the reason why in the sentence number two, I need to add two before get. Teacher. Okay. Yes? But and we can say marketing to help business get customers. It's a question. Repeat again. Marketing. Marketing to help business get customer. In this case, no, it is not possible. Because if you see, before help is not a verb. Antes de help, no hay ningún verbo. So we cannot say to aquí. No, okay. we can't. Mm -hmm. El to tiene que ir between, in the middle of the two verbs. Okay? Okay. Okay, yes. thank you. You're welcome. I don't know, uh, Mirna, do you have a question? Yes, I'm not clear because in the middle, the two verbs, you have business. The word mm -hmm. business. You can say marketing helps to get. You can omit the business or mm -hmm. not. In this case, it doesn't matter if you have another word because it's the same mm -hmm. as the previous example. For example, you say, I like a lot, for example, if you add that word a lot, you still need to separate the verb. A lot to run. You cannot say, ah, because I have a lot, ya no es necesario el to. I like a lot run. Mm, no. Even when you have a word, you always need to separate the verbs. That's the same example here. Even if you have businesses, you still need to separate the verbs. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Everybody, do you have any other question about this topic? Okay, we don't have more time, everybody. So please try to review the topic. If it is not so clear, try to review the class. Remember, you can always watch the video on YouTube. So tomorrow we are going to see the part two of the causative, that means, Always causative, but with different verbs, okay? So if you have questions tomorrow, we can clarify it and practice a little bit more. Don't forget to work on the platform, okay? So everybody, okay. good night, take care. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you, bye. Bye-bye, see you. Bye. Bye. bye.